Hey guys, Pez here with part 2 on how to make a YouTube background. Today we'll be covering the basics of 3D text and um, custom materials. So, if I just open up Cinema 4D, pretty much I just did this tutorial and it turns out that the right microphone wasn't selected so it didn't record any of my voice. So, I'm going to do this again and I'm going to make it quick. Um, you want to start out by opening my light kit. As such, oh yeah, oh whoops, this pretty much is what we're going to be making. Okay, so just so you have a rough idea, uh, where is it? Okay, so you just want to delete the text that's already in there. <sighs> okay, start out, import some 3D text, change the title or the name of the text to whatever you want. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make it tutorial and then choose the text you want to use which for this tutorial I'll make it agency FB which is actually also in my uh, my GFX pack in case you're looking for it you want to just select the camera and make sure this uh, make sure the tutorial is placed in the middle of the scene as such just size it up okay you want to click back on your text, come to object, change the depth to 150, come to caps, put on a fillet cap, change the size to 2.498 apparently, but it doesn't really matter, just put 2 for the front and the back, and then you want to come up to your text. Once all that's done, that's pretty much all you have to do on the first layer of text, you just need to hit Control c if you're on a PC, or Command c if you're on a Mac and then control V or command V and that will copy your text layer and then you want to come into the center of the scene just bring your mouse there and click the mouse wheel once and then come up to this top right box here and click the icon on the top right of that scene and it'll bring you into it you're gonna zoom in just make sure everything fits in the screen and select this Motex 1 up here in the corner. In case you're wondering, I'm not feeling great at the moment. That's why I sound a bit weird. And I'm a bit tired, so... Yeah. Choose Object. Come to Depth. Reduce the depth to... You'll see here on the screen that the depth will change as such. You want to bring it down to about 17, I said. Yes, 17. Maybe... Yeah, 17. And then you want to just bring it back a teeny bit so that you can see the caps on the first layer you want to come choose Motex 1 again come to the cap tab and then change the radius by up by 2 so it'll come to 4 and oh shit and just drag your layer back a teeny bit okay now you want to just control copy this Motex 1 layer and you want to drag the copied layer back a teeny bit so that you can see here there is just a teeny space between them this will give that rimmed effect that's the text that I'm doing by the way in case you were wondering and you just want to keep control C and control V in this until you have like even spacing between all of them as you can see I'm trying to get it as even as possible Ah, fuck, okay. That's fine. And you just keep doing that until you've got them all spaced out. If you don't think it's long enough, which I don't think it is at the moment, just come back to the objects on the first Motex layer and increase the depth even more. I think that should be good. Alright, sick. Alright. I just want to decrease the back depth. I mean, this doesn't really matter, but everything matters to me. So, you just want to decrease the back depth until it's just you can see just the difference between the cap on the first layer and the cap on the last layer. And then you want to come back to your original scene. As you can see, you have that sort of rimmed effect going backwards, which actually looks quite nice there. So, yeah. Next thing you want to do is select all these layers by clicking on the top one, holding down shift and clicking on the first one. Come up to objects 
and press group objects. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast, I'm trying to make this not too long, like, I want to make this relatively quick. Come up here and you'll see um, you've got all these buttons here. Hold down on this one and come and choose wrap. You might have it slightly different because I have the latest version of Cinema 4D, so uh, it might not look like that necessarily, but wrap will be up there in one of those tabs. If you just hold down your click, it'll open up the rest of the options. You'll see all of them. And you just want to drag wrap until the arrow goes downwards on the null one object, and then just let go. And as you can see, it wraps all of them. And then you want to choose wrap, come down to its options, come down to the bottom one which says tension, and you want to just bring that down until you can pretty much see the text. And make sure that the wrap is also in the center of your text or else you'll have it looking fucking stupid like that. You want to make sure it's in the center. I can't really judge where the center is right now, it's pissing me off. Anyway, that's, let's just say that's the center. And then you want to make sure that it's in the middle, you know, everything's right. Get the tension how you like it, I mean, some people like it more. I like it around 20 to 30. That's good. And finally, instead of, I mean, you can keep it like this if you like it like that. You're more than welcome to have it like that. But personal preference, if you want to change things up a bit more, come down to the wrap. Like, it just says wrap here, I don't know why. And then click on that and choose spherical. It compresses it downwards as well as, like, to the side. Uh, let me just move this across a bit. And then I'm going to increase my tension a bit. As you can see, that looks pretty damn cool. Next thing you want to do is double click down here to create a new material. Double click material. Right click on the picture and come down to object, soft shadow. And you want to just click on color. Come down to the bit where it says texture. Click the arrow, load image and find... For me, I like to have a metal sort of um, backing to this text. So I'm just going to come and select this metal material. You'll find this in my texture pack. Open it, press yes. Come back to texture, click the arrow again, hit copy channel, come down to diffusion, check it, paste channel, and just change the mix strength and brightness down a bit. Sorry if I'm going fast, but I'm trying to not let this run over 15 minutes. Check on reflection, come down to fr uh, Fresnel or Fresnel, whatever the fuck you call it, and change the brightness down to around 30 to 40 percent. Uh, environment check paste channel brightness 50 mix strength 50 bump check paste channel change it up to about 80 depending on your texture don't make it too bumpy if you have a really like bumpy texture if that makes sense you'll know when you see it and that should be good once you've done that you want to drag it onto every single mode text apart from the first one because those are the ones that like go backwards if that makes sense so you just want to come and bam, got it. And then you want to click on the first material up here, and then hold shift and click on the last one. And as you can see, it selects them all in yellow. And then you want to come down here where it says projection, click that down, choose cubic, and then choose seamless, this option here. And that just means the picture won't repeat itself and it'll go around the entire mo text, if that makes sense. And then if you see, if you render it out, actually, no, that's going to take fucking ages. Um, first of all, let's make the front material, so create another material, object, soft shadow, um, I'm just going to make this a red material, so choose red, choose trans oh no, choose reflection, put on a Fresnel, 50 mix strength, 50 brightness, uh, put on a glow, change the outer strength to 50%, oh, or whatever, I mean 50% is alright, 45 actually. Um, and yeah, you just want to drag that on the front one. And that should be it, pretty much. Um, I'm going to pause this and come back once it's rendered. If you have any issues rendering... Uh, actually, no, first of all, render settings. You, they will, if you download my light kit, all these will be done for you. Apart from you have to go to save, click this here, and choose where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it into my texts as tutorial. And then you come down... 
you know, do all these options are done for you already, so you don't really have to do any of these if you have my light kit. If you don't have my light kit, then go download it now from my GFX pack video. Alright, so I'm going to set this rendering and I'll pause it and come back to you once it's done. Okay, so I'm back and the thing's pretty much rendered. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. The glow will go on once it's finished. Um, if you don't like how bright the metal is, I mean, you can always change that in the options. Uh, as you can see, that looks pretty good. Um, but for this tutorial's sake, I already made one of these previously, but then it turns out my mic wasn't recording, so I'm not going to save that. And this actually looks quite nice as well. I've already rendered this out, like, fully. So let's just take a look real quick. See what it looks like once it's done. Here, where is it? Where is it? Oh, you're fucking shitting me. Oh yeah, no, I cancelled it right away. Okay, fine. Okay, so that's that's pretty much the entire tutorial. Um, I've pretty much covered everything, I think. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post them below. Um, I'm always open to helping you guys. If you need any help, just add me on Skype. Uh, my Skype details are on my channel. Um, tutorial part three will be basically finishing off the background that we started in tutorial part one. We'll be adding light effects and um, overlays to the text, all that, you know, all that stuff. All the good stuff that makes it look pretty sexy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any requests for me to do tutorials on other things other than a YouTube background, feel free to post them below. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned, stay active, and I'll bring you another tutorial next week. Cool. See you around. Ramsey's a fucking homo.